Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So we're with the Backyard Hooligans again today. The Hooligans have decided to retreat back to their main base and excavation site. Digger is forming their rear guard right now, and it looks like she's running to a little bit of opposition. Alright, so here we are with Digger. Now, the rest of the crew has moved on down the valley, and we were picking up some contacts at extreme range. Looks like we've got a scout mech here, so we're going to take them on. Hopefully they are unable to report back. Um to like on our exact location they may give, be able to give an idea of where we are but we're gonna move in no shooting, just and running. hopefully we can do some damage to this guy and get rid of him before he's able to report back here so we got the streak SRMs or streak MRMs and I think we've got yeah we got streak LRMs as well so we're gonna switch to LRMs and take a shot at this guy here alright so he's got a uh, an AMS. So this should be an interesting fight. I mean, we've got the armor, so I'm not that worried. What do you need? See if we can stay on this guy's flank. Well, we can't really. If we're going to push up to engage, we might as well use the trees. Copy that. We're going to switch to Shriek MRMs now. SRMs have got 30, or sorry, that's the MRMs got 30. Yeah, we'll go with this. Oh, nice. PPC hit. Streaks were shot down. Yeah, we're not going to be very effective with the streaks. We just don't have enough missiles. Although, I hope this guy's not packing a PPC as well. No, it could end up heating us up really badly, though. Oh, well, he's heating himself up pretty badly, too. Yep. Um, let's just go point blank. Stay in the trees. Roger. Let's just give it to this guy. We're going to leave our PPC off because it's no good at, at close range anyway. Um, right, we don't have SRM ammo, correct? Although it does give us the option to switch to SRM. I guess it's because we don't have any that makes the X? I don't know. Couple missile hits. All right, what are you doing, buddy? Enemy flanking. Yep. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. Oh, are you serious? What do you need? Well, we're only getting one salvage out of this, so... We might as well try for the most damage possible. His AMS shouldn't fire. Now we better leave the PPC off. Although, if he gets free... We're gonna be super hot. But we'll take the chance. Okay, nice. He's got a lot of heat, too. <laughs> He's got to restart. Did he fail? I think yeah. he may have failed to restart. I gotta back up Let's over move. here just in case anyway. Make it hard for him to get behind me. Yeah. We're gonna try... Uh... Mmm... Gonna leave these off. I don't want to go too much. I, I don't want to core him because we need a core for our, for our Phoenix. I know it's 50 tons and this guy's 35, but we need something to drop in there to get it mobile. Here we go. There's the right side gone. How'd that taste? Is he gonna bail? Nope. Yep. Can he not restart? Is that what his problem is? That's what his problem is. Let's hope we get lucky with the one is shot. Come on, bail out. No. Yep, perfect. Mission successful. All right, let's see what we get out of this. Hopefully, we get a core. Uh, yeah, screw you. Um, we get one thing. We take the two ten core, and we're gonna get six others. So we're gonna be missing one thing. Hopefully, it's not. Hopefully, we lose the flamers because everything else I can use, including this. 
Well, I can't use this, but I can sell it for more than I can sell the flamers, I think. 20 grand each. This is 100, yeah, so we'll get a little bit more for that. Oh, well. Oh, we lost the endo. Wait, six items. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's one of six, right, so we only got five. Never mind. Okay, so even though Digger was able to destroy that scout mech, it seems as though the enemy has found our base. So we're going to need to defend this as best as possible. We've got a couple of uh, uh, locals that were coming to help us um, get things up and running, the electronic systems up and running, just arriving now. So hopefully they can arrive and get these turrets online. We do have enemy mechs just off to this side. They have taken a shot at the base already. So we're going to have to go over there and find out what's going on, who they've got here and what they're doing. Looks like they've come here to burn us to the ground. So we better engage them yeah. quickly and find out what we're up against here. Don't know why these uh, pirates are so angry at us, but... Let's move. Alright, what do we got here? A scout. Uh, we'll go with the MRMs. And really bad chances to hit, but we're going to fire anyway. Ooh, PPC landed. That's nice. That is nice. All right, Trout. Yep. Let's get over there with that stinger. Anyway, we can see that guy. I guess not, huh? Uh, let's just run it over here. Get in the trees. Roger. Maybe we can pick up somebody else on radar or on uh, sensors here. Nobody. All right. Brace it in here. Vehicles almost got all the way up here. Good to go. Alright, swordsman. Um, we do have the ability for some indirect here, but I think I want to get around as far as I can this way. Oh, we got somebody else. It's a locust? A locust. Really bad chances to hit, though. Oof, even worse on that guy. Well, we'll take the pot shot on this guy. Hopefully we get something out of it. Ooh, nice. AC hits. Gotta like that. Alright, we got our AC2 carrier. Can we get to a position where we can see anybody? Doesn't look that way. This is probably better than that, so let's get into here. Alright, well... Hopefully this is all the units they've got and we're able to take care of these guys and then we can, then we can get out of here. We're, once they've found our base now, I mean, we're going to have to abandon this base. If they're going to, these, uh, um, pirates are going to continuously attack us, we're going to have to get out of here. So let's get over here. Understood. Let's go after this uh, scout. I mean, it's only got a medium laser, so maybe not. What was the thing that shot the, uh, the building? Was it this guy? He's got four energy. Although we might be able to get a kill off this if we get lucky. Let's go after this guy. Take this. Oh, there goes the right arm. Not that it matters. Medium lasers in the Florida CT on this guy. Hit. What are you? Who are you? You're carrying mortars. I think that's what it is. Yep. It's probably a flea. Okay, I think we get up here. Confirmed. Yeah, I think we're gonna get up here. Keep the rock between us and the and the. Uh, Locust and just go after this guy. I'm gonna hang on to the tandems. Alright, that's kind of lousy, but whatever. Hanging on to those rockets. I think the biggest deal with this actual playthrough is gonna be um, keeping them from destroying the base. Like, we've got the armor to withstand them attacking us, but. We just don't have the firepower to overwhelm them and stop them from destroying our base. If we lose our base, we lose our vital supplies. So that's going to be a huge deal. All right, we got some turrets. Let's hope these turrets are really good. Now, um, you're what? You can't see these guys, so that's good. You're a quad gun or a light turret? Ultra 2, okay. Machine guns and mine dispensers. Let's not get close to the enemy. 
LRM turret, that's really nice. Where's our last turret? It's up here, right? Mortar turret, mortar four and machine guns. Okay, let's not get close to the enemy because we're going to get a lot of... Uh, Receiving you. A lot of um, collateral, da collateral damage. We're just gonna we're just gonna shoot this guy. I'm not gonna bother moving. Copy that. Ah, damn it! Yeah, there's no point moving. Shit! Somebody's got rockets. That's an urban mech. Friendly structure down. That was a rocket launching urban mech. I bet ya. Damn it. There's not a goddamn thing I can do about that, though. Commander. Ooh, I think we can just fire from here, right? Yeah, let's not shoot our own guy in the back, but we're not going to move because it'll lower our chance to hit. Firing all weapons. Nothing, huh? It's the cyclone back there, okay. Man, we got really bad sensors. This is bad. Bad for us, of course. Let's hope the next waves are vehicles so we can try and get in there and stop them. What were you shooting at? Thunderbolt, I guess? What do you need? I think this is a camp... I can't move too far forward because if we get guys attacking us from back here, I'm going to be able to back up to engage them. Oof. I have to move before I can attack. I hate to say this, but right now, now that this, I think that's an urban mech, now that he's shot his wad, he's pretty much useless. This locust is probably more dangerous right now than anything. Copy that. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, what are you using? They've got to be mortars. Yeah. Can't get behind that guy, huh? All right. So let's um. Yeah, I don't know. I think jumping back here is probably a bad idea. We've only got a medium laser, so it's not like we can do a lot here. 16%, like... 14... 16... I guess what we can do, though, is be a distraction. Let's just jump it back here. Thirty-five... Sixteen... Let's take a pot shot at the Cyclone. Firing. Crap. All right. Targeting systems janky. Yeah, they ain't janky. You're janky. Got to stay a little quiet, guys. My uh, my youngest is uh, going to bed. They actually just got offered a uh, uh, commander a lead role in an independent film. So, kind of really proud of them. Um, let's try and engage this guy. See if we can keep him from sh well, Actually, what's the, uh, little lower on this guy. That's not worth it. I think we try and, yeah, let's hammer this guy. Okay, nice hit. AC's two for three now. It's pretty good. Let's hope when those, um, that turret uses that mine dispenser 20, it uses it in a good way. And not going after us. 
Uh, could we bring this guy down? I think we need to go after this guy. Firing full okay, that was looks like it looked like at least two hits could have been three. What was that shooting? Yeah, shoot him. That's the mortar four. Beautiful. Yes, but where? Right behind us, of course. Damn it. R5, Locust. Okay. What do you need? I think we gotta peel off. And get on these guys. But the swordsman's in the way, so let's just reserve this one. Actually, yeah, let's reserve. Waiting for the right move. Let's let the swordsman move first, so we can move up into this spot. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh, we got. Reinforcements over here. Weapons carrier LRM. Oh man, Bullfinch. Hornet. Okay. Uh that is not good. Let's jump into here. We're gonna walk next turn, so um God, terrible. Even worse. Alright, I think we hold on to the rockets for vehicles. Confirmed. Okay, not bad. We'll take the hit. Yeah, we're in we're in a really bad way here. We're gonna probably lose our base. Just so you know, this is a half skull base defense mission. It's just I think that what it is is that we have a lack of units, so. We just can't pull down enemies fast enough. I gotta flee. Oof, that turret took a lot of damage. Alright, hopefully they'll change targets and go after the, uh... Vehicles. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? Hopefully it's an urban mech, because most likely it'll just be, uh, Bullfinch. Oof. Hopefully it doesn't get up close to our buildings. Why is he retreating? Well, we got the, this guy with the mine dispensers. Although I wonder if he needs line of sight to be able to use them. I wonder if he needs line of sight. Which is why he hasn't used them yet. It's a possibility. So the R5 has got what? Two ballistic. Is This is the old version, right? With the machine gun and AC. Let's move forward. Moving out. Let's take our best chance to hit, though. Does this take an action, though? I don't want to risk it at this moment. Let's go after the flea. Okay, nice hit. Good damage. R5's backing up. So I wonder if he's got two rifles. At least he's shooting after my guy here. As horrible as that sounds. Sensor lock on the bullfinch and a miss. Let's 
this guy shut down. He's got two mediums. Yeah. Is there a way I can get to see him? Do I take the turn and do it? I think we have to. I think we have to take our uh, our chances when we can get them. That's really good chances to hit. That's okay. That's not bad. But I think we do this. Um, does he have them both in this arm? Do we go for the... What do we do? Go for the core or the torso? I'm trying to... Th I think he's got one in each arm. This torso's already taken internal structure damage, so let's go after that. Now the MRMs, is it MRM or LRM better? LRM's better. Although it does... Um, same damage, it looks like. Alright. Did I miss the PPC? I did. Oh, that's bad. Fuck. Where is that copter? It says it's like right here, but waiting for order. From the sound that is. What am I missing? That's our guy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing here. Okay, those guys aren't actually damaging the buildings right now, though. Can I get another shot on that urban mech? I thought I saw a line there for a second. No, nope, I can't. Twenty-four on the flea. Sixty-seven on the urban mech, though. Moving to position. Okay, what do we got now? 21. 61. Alright, let's just go... Yeah, he's got periphery rifles. They still do a lot of damage, though. The heavy one's damaged. All weapons are oh! Oh! <laughs> That's good collateral damage. I'll take that. There's a kill. Beautiful. That's the mortar 4. Okay, one hit and a couple collaterals. Yep. Alright, kiddo, you think you can get a shot of that Irby? Probably not, eh? You need to not be near this guy, though. Oh, that's what this is. The bullfinch was this guy. Light rotary... His, his rockets are gone now. So the light rotary rifle is still pretty good, so we have to be careful of that. Um, actually, how much armor does this thing have? 70, eh? We don't have enough with the rocket blast unless we get a... Unless we had a really good chance to hit. Which, it's not bad. It's not going to be enough for a kill. That light rotary rifle could do good damage to the stinger, though. Hornet, I'm not worried about. The the uh, weapons carrier LRM, I totally am. Most likely has... Um, most likely... I'm saying most likely, has a pair, like a, at least two LRM-15s or three LRM-10s. I think Copy that. we're behind a crest here, so we're going to walk over here. We're not going to take a shot at this copter. I think it's a pretty big threat right now. And I think we go with both of these and hope, and hope, we, hope we get it. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, laser is a miss. A couple internal hits, but... Short-range missiles are out. It might be a way to... It might be a... Um, It might be a way to chase him off. That locust is super heated. I think he's taking engine damage, so he's going to stay heated for a while. He won't be able to sink all that heat. If he fires his lasers, he's done for. Ah, crap, the urban mech goes before us. Hopefully it fails its restart. Okay, Oscout's backing off. 
Nope, it decided to attack. Okay. Hopefully it jams. Oh, the casings. You see the casings falling off this thing? That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's not much I can do to stop these guys. Yeah, bolt on AMS for the win. So two from two hits. He must have Thunderbolt fives. Why do I have a feeling that Hornet's going to be dangerous? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go here. I know it's stepping in front of the AC2 carrier, but I think his periphery rifle's on this arm and his heavy's on this arm, which is damaged, so he's got a lower chance to hit with it. If we can burrow through the one side here, that would be a bonus for us. Okay, there goes the left side. Yeah, so the periphery rifle's gone. And then hopefully the AC2 carrier can get a flank on him. Can we get a flank on him? We can. But it's like ridiculously close range. Do I do it? And hope that we get lucky? That hornet can't be seen. Even if I move over here, there's nothing. So I guess it is this guy. We're going to try for the flank. I copy. Let's hope we get lucky on this shot here. All we need is one good hit. Okay, we got a good hit on him. I think that was CT damage. Okay, at least that cyclone's overheated. Oh, he missed. Nice. Battle mech power up detected. Yeah, crap. So that's the LRM carrier. Yeah. Looks like it might only be a pair of tens. Now our chances drop significantly on that guy. Uh, moderate on this guy. Salvage wise though, it might be better to go after this guy. So let's fire, I'm not going to move, we're going to fire on the cyclone. We have plenty of armor so I'm not afraid of being hit. Attacking from position. Nice hits. How'd that taste? Okay. Did we lose another building? Oh, here comes those mines. God, these turrets. They're pissed. Yeah, I think those mine disper dispensers need direct line of sight. So, at least we stayed out of the minefield, so we can move back now. Um, that's the Hornet. You, I think, are too far forward. Yeah, we can't sprint there and do it, so let's jump. Wait, where is this guy damaged? Mostly his front. Uh, let's jump into the trees. Can we? No, we can't. We can jump here, though. We're gonna try for a side shot, because as we all know, if you want to hit the front, the best place to be is beside him. So let's take a shot at this guy. Acknowledge. Yeah, well. Damn it, I missed. Yeah, we gotta get you some, uh, yep. ability to use more than just that weapon. Let's see if we can kill this cyclone now. Aye, aye. Okay, no missile launches, but we definitely took his torso. Oh, yeah. yeah, he did have a Thunderbolt 5 and an ER, ER medium laser magna. But nice to be able to pick that up for the Stinger. Maybe he's got a second one. We're on round six. We got four more after this one. With this here now, I'm feeling pretty good about this match. The Hornet, I think, though, or their, um, 
What's this guy? The cop here again? That's the that's the wild card. I, I got a feeling. The locust might be back here if he moves in and shoots four times at a building, but this guy with the rack. If he goes after a building, it could be a bad day. Although, I got a feeling that might be jammed. Or it might jam very soon. Alright, one hit. Nice. Nice! So I think I'm going to sick the AC2 carrier on that copter now. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Only took three damage. But then he just he just turned it on in place, so yeah, that LRM carrier too. It's not moving; it's just sitting here. Uh, we're not going to be able to get our AC twos on that either. Waiting for orders. Unless we go after it. Can you just shoot from there? You can. Don't hit our weapons carrier. Here it comes. There we go. Mess him up good. Heavy rifle off the field. We can turn now and engage the other guys. I think our LRM turret should be able to handle this guy. The Locust is superheated as well. Can we... Engage anybody though? Oh, wait. We can engage the copter from over here. I'm going to move the AC2 carrier down this way. Because I think we're going to go hunting this copter and this uh, weapons carrier. Because this thing's got half decent amount of armor. 130 on the front, 110 on the side and back. So... It's actually pretty good. Oh, look at those chances to hit, too. Yes. Screw you! One more for the trash heap. Okay, he's superheated. There's the turd B. He's still shooting at the buildings. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Alright, they're going first it looks like. Who's going first? Locust? Down here? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be a wild card I think. Okay, we can lose three buildings, but I don't want to lose any more. Yeah. I'm gonna have to somehow put a penalty on myself. If we lose some, if we lose for each building we lose, we should I should be able I should have to put a penalty on Roger. myself. I don't know what I'll do yet, but figure something out. We lost one, so it's, one's okay, but any more we're gonna have a problem. All right, firing. Yes, nice shot. Was that a headshot? No. comes the Hornet. I don't know what this guy's got on it though. I would have thought he would have had a mortar, but I guess not. Need? I should fire on that Locust. Urban Max a lot better chance to hit. Oscar's really good. I try and kill this Cyclone though. This guy's the threat though. I think we go this route. Okay, a little bit of damage. We can take the hits from these guys. Do they think they can hurt me? But we gotta get that locust shooting at us. Standing by. Alright, I think we wanna keep going this way. That side's clear now, so. Uh, who else has been shooting at buildings? This guy has 0 0.9, 12, 19 on the Cyclone? Sure. Okay, a couple hits. That's actually not bad. Twice as many as I should have gotten. Yeah, you're moving up now too. Okay. All right, all our mechs are going to come back over to this side. I'm going to leave the AC2 carrier to hunt the Hornet and the LRM carrier. Right now, I think if we do that, the LRM carrier is the threat.
orders. Um, I think you need to try and engage the LRM carrier. Here we go. On the move. Full speed. I don't know how much armor it's going to have. It's a carrier, so it's like iffy, right? Good, great chances to hit. So he's probably got an LRM 15 and lousy armor. Beautiful. Confirmed. Okay, looks like we stripped some armor off him. Ooh, that's really nice. Yeah, one more round and he's done. Nice, how many do we get? Two. Alright, we'll take it. Come on, kill him. Alright. Good damage. And he's gone. Have our propulsion destroyed. Whose barrage was that? Whose barrage was that? Urban Max. Urban Max. Does the Urbi still have kind of? Does the Urbi still have a barrage? Or was it the Oz oh, Scout? No, he's got a medium laser. Urban Mech might have a tag barrage. Still in play, which means we gotta hammer him because that can land one more. No, it can't. He doesn't have enough juice left on it. Even if he shoots it in round 10, it won't go off till round 11, which yep. we've only got 10 rounds left, so it's no biggie. Okay, let's move over here. Just gonna shoot in the side of this guy. Okay, I'm on it. Or not. It's nice to see them pushing here. Negative damage. You know, they, they backed off. They got reinforcements and they stayed back. So you got something. I'm here. Wish I could move more, but I can't really. Yeah, I think we got to go after this guy. He's still got one of the biggest, uh, <coughs> one of the biggest punches. Okay, there's the left side gone. Medium and small gone. Scored a critical hit. Right, so he's got two mediums and two smalls. What's up, boss? He's got a biggie small. Uh, that's actually really good. We're gonna do that. Position confirmed. Because then we can move forward. We got two turns left after this one, so we can move forward and hammer the other guys. Oh well, take the collateral damage on the other guy, that works. Knock his ass down. We've gotten lucky with collateral in this one. We've landed a few big hits collaterally on uh, rear line mechs, which is nice. Yes, Commander. And we, I like to say that's intentional, because you know, we're just really good at what we do. It's, that's, you know, goes without saying. Does AC, do AC2s have a minimum range? Oh, we're down to like six rounds though. Well, ah, no wonder. Roger, full speed. I, didn't, I didn't realize I was using flak rounds. I'm sure you're all yelling at me, why are you using flak? But, I mean, it worked out in case of the copter. Copy that. Nothing. I think we got a minimum with these. No joy. I think it's got a, I'm pretty sure the AC2 had a 90 meters minimum range, something like that. Still going. Nope, he's not. I don't know if he bailed out of that or what happened there. Just said panicked and all of a sudden he's shut down, so probably too many crits to the CT, to the engine. Either way, he's down, so I'll take that. I wonder if the pilot got knocked out. Didn't say so, but... Alright, he's backing off. Aye, aye. Um... Yeah, he, this is the tag barrage, probably. Let's fire on this guy since he's fresh. I'm taking the shot. Nice. 
What do you need? You're gonna go locust hunting. Going full throttle. All right, see what we get here. I'm taking the shot. Nice shot. Yeah, the stinger. We really need to get something in there for, uh, like Pharaoh or something like that to add more weapons. Ah, crap. What are you using? Alright, let's, um... I want to engage this Hornet, but I don't look like I'm going to get a direct line of sight on him. Or... Oh, I can. Let's see if we can engage that Hornet. No target. Stop him from shooting the buildings here. Alright, well, I don't know if it'll stop him, but at least he knows we know he's there. Uh, okay. Receiving you. Twelve percent, huh? Where is that hornet that I can't shoot him? Oh, he's kinda down the hill there. Kinda. Alright, if we're gonna do this, let's move this way. We're getting closer to the battle. Got it. No shooting. We'll yeah. get at least one more turn of shooting then. Alright, hopefully we get a hit on this guy. Targeting for an alpha strike. Ooh, another leg hit. Inflicted some heavy damage. Hopefully it'll make him run. The bad part about this is if some of these guys survive, we could get attacked again. But hopefully by that time the Phoenix will be up and running. We'll have more defense here. Standing by. You're pretty much a mobile turret in this battle. Let's just shoot this guy. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's go off scout hunting. Trying to keep you away from the Irby. The Irby's got a little bit more firepower. Actually, let's shoot the Hornet. Aye, aye. Engaging or not. Time. We got our swordsman that we can hit the, uh... Hopefully we can hit the, um, urban mech with. Wouldn't mind getting some of those rockets as salvage. Man, if we can get a good targeting computer in the Stinger and get a heavy rocket launcher in there, we could do some good back damage with that thing. Okay, I have to move. That's actually not bad. We're going to take that. We might just kill these guys. It is round 10, though, so this is the last shot we're going to get at these guys. Okay, we penned, but not enough to do anything good. Where are you going? Yeah, do your worst. My carrier laughs at your puny attack. Okay, that was against who? The carrier? Okay. We're not going to get kills on all these guys, but... Okay, we can't get a direct line of sight on the Irby. If we had more rounds, I probably wouldn't go this direction, but let's go after this guy. Acknowledged. No. Crap. No luck. Very rare chance now pulling that Irby down before the end of the battle. We have an LRM turret left. We got the mortar turret. And that's it. There it is, folks. Mission successful. 
Okay, so with the surviving enemies getting away from the battle, looks like we're going to have to uh, endure another attack on this base. So we have, we're going to have to get the, uh, the Phoenix up and running. Without that, we're going to be in a lot of trouble, I think. Now, uh, parts. Parts, parts, parts. We don't have parts of anything, really. The weapons carrier LRM would be nice. Bolt-on rocket 15s. Ooh, I should take both of these. I know they're cheap in the store. This is nice for the uh, for the Stinger light rotary rifle. It's six tons though. I don't know where I would put that. I mean, I guess I could replace the AC-5 with it and go with multiple chances to hit, but the AC-5's got so much better range. Thunderbolt 5. Uh, minus 10% to AMS. Uh, 840 meters, although does it have... Oh, the end of steel. Do we have... Ooh, a light engine. Gonna throw that in for now. Uh, Guardian ECM. Gonna throw that in for now. Um, double heat, double heats in kit. Oh my god, that's a huge upgrade for, for some of our mechs. Uh, but I'd have to take the double the double heat sinks as well. So kinetic kill TBM times two modifier to through armor critical chance plus twenty five percent to all range brackets plus fifty percent damage dealt to armor twelve shots. Oof. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if we do that. Although, you know what? I really hope we get one of these in the roll because our sensors are, are all garbage. Like you saw right at the very beginning of battle, we had no idea what the enemies, what the, where they were, what they were doing. As much as I want to take these, these guys. Okay. None of us over are overheating. This will open up the opportunity to put hotter builds on one of our guys, but at this point I have nothing to, to do that with. So if I do this and do this, we have an immediate firepower upgrade, which I think probably is more important. Because if we're, we're gonna have to defend this base again, we're gonna need the firepower. So let's go this route and see what else we get. Okay, we got two bullfinch parts. That was only 15 tons, eh? Yeah, I had garbage armor though. Two cyclone pieces, three locust pieces, and an urban mech piece. Machine gun, which, which I think we can just go ahead and get rid of. So we've got two of them. Small lasers, we've got a few of these too, right? We've got two. Regular armor, four. We've got one of these already, so we don't need the extra four. 25 ton engine we don't need. Internal combustion engines we don't need. That we do need. We don't need that. Primitive cockpit we don't need. Basic sensors. We got one of those, so that's nice. I'm going to keep two structures and I'll sell one. I can't remember if we've got primitive structure on the swordsman or not. But we'll find out and we'll, we'll replace it with this if we do. And I'm going to keep the I'm going to keep the uh, rifle ammo. Um, because if we pick up a half decent rifle in the future, we might end up using it, or a weapon that uses rifle ammo, like the light rotary. Uh, we might pick up, um, we might, we might need this in the future, so I'll just hang on to those for now. Alright, so before we go, we're going to take a quick look and see if we can get that Phoenix up and running. Now that we've got that 240 core, so we fit this guy. We still have a lot of its stuff on it. Got the large laser and everything, so let's go ahead and yeah, we lost all the rockets. Um, repair all. So uh, before we do anything, let's go here and find the 210 core, standard fusion core. Christ, we don't have enough money. We can't even get it running. What about just a basic repair on it? 286,000 or 288,000 this is more than what we have already so we can't get this thing repaired yet 
All right, fair enough. I mean, we could sell a few things, I guess, to try and get enough to just get it to just get it up and running. So I might try and do that between episodes. I'll see if I can get it up and running before this next one. Um, otherwise, we're going to be facing an enemy that I don't know if we'll be able to hold off. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Um, and uh, if you got any suggestions for the this the series or whatever, please just drop them in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.